Melchiades Rafael Martinez Ruiz, usually known as Mel Martinez, born October 23, 1946, is an American lobbyist and former politician who served as a United States Senator from Florida from 2005 to 2009 and as General Chairman of the Republican Party from November 2006 until October 19, 2007. Previously, Martinez served as the 12th Secretary of Housing and Urban Development under President George W. Bush. Martinez is a Cuban-American and Roman Catholic. He announced he was resigning as general chairman of the Republican National Committee on October 19, 2007. Martinez resigned his United States cabinet post on December 12, 2003, to run for the open U.S. Senate seat in Florida being vacated by retiring Democratic Senator Bob Graham. Martinez secured the Republican nomination and narrowly defeated the Democratic nominee, Betty Castor. His election made him the first Cuban American to serve in the U.S. Senate. Furthermore, he and Ken Salazar, who is Mexican American, were the first Hispanic U.S. Senators since 1977. They were joined by a third, Bob Menendez, who is also Cuban American, in January 2006, until Salazar resigned from the Senate on January 20, 2009, to become Secretary of the Interior. On December 2, 2008, Martinez announced he would not be running for re-election to the Senate in 2010. On August 7, 2009, CNN and the Orlando Sentinel reported that Martinez would be resigning from his Senate seat. Later that month, Governor Charlie Crist announced that he would appoint George Lemieux as the successor to Martinez for the remaining year and a half of the Senate term. Two weeks after Martinez resigned his Senate seat, The Hill reported that he would become a lobbyist and partner at international firm DLA Piper. He left DLA Piper in August 2010 to become chairman of Chase Bank Florida and its operations in Mexico, Central America and the Caribbean. Martinez is currently chairman of the Southeast and Latin America for J.P. Morgan, Chase & Co. Martinez also serves as a co-chair of the Housing Commission at the Bipartisan Policy Center. <laughs> Early life Martinez was born in Sagua La Grande, Cuba, the son of Gladys V. Ruiz and Melchiades C. Martinez. He came to the United States in 1962 as part of a Roman Catholic humanitarian effort called Operation Peter Pan, which brought into the U.S. more than 14,000 children. Catholic charitable groups provided Martinez a temporary home at two youth facilities. At the time Martinez was alone and spoke virtually no English. He subsequently lived with two foster families, and in 1966 was reunited with his family in Orlando. Martinez received an associate degree from Orlando Junior College in 1967, a bachelor's degree in international affairs from Florida State University, and his Juris Doctor degree from Florida State University College of Law in 1973. He began his legal career working at the Orlando personal injury law firm Wooten Kimbrough, where he became a partner and worked for more than a decade. During his 25 years of law practice in Orlando, he was involved in various civic organizations. He served as vice president of the Board of Catholic Charities of the Orlando Diocese. <laughs> Early political career In 1994, Martinez ran for lieutenant governor of Florida. He teamed up with future Family Research Council President Ken Connor, the gubernatorial candidate. The Connor Martinez ticket was defeated in the Republican primary, finishing fifth with 83,945 votes, or 9.31% of the vote. On November 3, 1998, Martinez was elected Orange County chairman. During Martinez's tenure, the position was relabeled mayor. While in office, Martinez implemented what became known as the Martinez Doctrine, which prohibits development from taking place unless adequate public infrastructure, specifically school capacity, is able to support such development. The doctrine was challenged in court, but its legality was upheld when the Florida Supreme Court declined to hear an appeal to a lower court's ruling. Martinez served as mayor through the end of 2000. Before becoming Secretary of HUD, Martinez served on the Governor's Growth Management Study Commission. He previously served as President of the Orlando Utilities Commission, on the Board of Directors of a Community Bank, and as Chairman of the Orlando Housing Authority. 
Serving as co-chairman of then-Texas Governor George W. Bush's 2000 presidential election campaign in Florida, Martinez was a leading fundraiser. He was one of the 25 electors from Florida, who voted for Bush in the 2000 election. While serving as HUD secretary, Martinez sat as an ex officio member of the President's Advisory Commission on Educational Excellence for Hispanic Americans. Personal life Mel Martinez and his wife Kitty have three children named Lauren Martinez, John Martinez, and Andrew Martinez and five grandchildren. He is the brother of Rafael E. Martinez. Mel Martinez resides in Orlando. U.S. <laughs> Senate election, 2004 In November 2004, Martinez was the Republican nominee in the U.S. Senate election to replace retiring Democrat Bob Graham. Much of Martinez's support came from Washington, he was endorsed early by many prominent Republican groups, and publicly supported by key national Republican figures such as Senate Majority Leader Bill Frist. His Cuban background and his popularity in the battleground Orlando, Florida, region both contributed to his appeal to the statewide GOP in Florida. But Internet Magazine Salon reported that Martinez wanted to run for governor in 2006, though the GOP convinced him to run for the Senate two years earlier instead. Primary Martinez's nomination by the Republican Party was far from certain. He was seriously challenged by former Congressman Bill McCollum. McCollum criticized Martinez's background as a plaintiff's attorney, and many Republicans initially feared that Martinez's nomination would destroy the GOP's ability to criticize Democratic vice presidential nominee John Edwards' background. Martinez was also said to be soft on tort reform, a major Republican issue in the 2004 race. After a McCollum surge in the final weeks leading up to the primary, Martinez fought back in the last week of the race, putting out mass mailings and television ads that called McCollum, the new darling of homosexual extremists, pointing out that McCollum had sponsored hate crimes legislation while a member of the House of Representatives. Martinez pulled some of the more offensive ads from the air after a personal appeal from Governor Jeb Bush, but never disavowed them. The St. Petersburg Times took the extraordinary step of revoking its endorsement of Martinez in the Republican primary and endorsing McCollum. In the Republican primary on August 31, Martinez won a decisive victory over McCollum 45 to 31%. Shortly afterward, he spoke alongside President Bush at the 2004 Republican National Convention on September 2. During part of his tenure in the Senate, Martinez sat at the candy desk. General election Martinez defeated his Democratic opponent, Betty Castor, in a very close election that was preceded by numerous negative television ads from both campaigns. Martinez's margin of victory was small enough that a winner was not declared until Castor conceded the day after the election. Twelve of Martinez's 25 stops on taxpayer-funded domestic trips as Secretary of Housing and Urban Development in 2003 were to Florida cities, at the same time that he was also campaigning for Senate in Florida. President Bush won in Florida by 52% to 47%, but Martinez only won 49% to 48%, with a margin of about 70,000 votes. Martinez did much worse than Bush in the Tampa area, such as in Hillsborough, and Pinellas counties, and in smaller counties such as Liberty and Lafayette. The only counties that Martinez won that Bush did not were Orange and Miami-Dade. Campaign reporting violation In August 2006, the Martinez campaign acknowledged that the 2004 campaign had been under review by the Federal Election Commission for more than a year. Following the 2004 election, Martinez originally reported that his $12 million campaign had about $115,000 in debt, according to FEC documents. But a revision showed his campaign instead owed $685,000 in election expenses. The campaign spent about $300,000 in accounting and attorney's fees related to the 2004 campaign. 
On October 28, 2008, Republican Senator Mel Martinez agreed to pay $99,000 in fines for his campaign's failure to comply with federal election laws, including its acceptance of excess contributions, records show. An FEC audit found Martinez's campaign accepted a total of $313,235 in contributions that exceeded limits from 186 donors. The fine was agreed to by the FEC on September 10 and was posted a month later in its database. The organization Citizens for Responsibility and Ethics in Washington crew filed a complaint with the Federal Elections Commission FEC in August 2006 that alleged Martinez illegally accepted more than $60,000 from the Bacardi Beverage Company in the campaign. Crew alleged Bacardi violated the Federal Election Campaign Act FECA and FEC regulations by soliciting contributions from a list of the corporation's vendors for these campaigns, and by using corporate funds to pay for food and beverages at campaign events held in the company's corporate headquarters on May 11, 2004. An amended complaint by Crew in October 2006 alleged similar behavior by Bacardi for Democratic Senator Bill Nelson's 2006 re-election campaign. In April 2007, the FEC notified Crew it had reviewed the allegations against Bacardi, the Martinez campaign and the Nelson campaign, found no reason to believe any of the alleged violations occurred, and closed the matter. <laughs> <laughs> Staffing controversies On April 6, 2005, Martinez accepted the resignation of his legal counsel, Brian Darling, who was responsible for writing and circulating the Schiavo memo related to the Terry Schiavo case. Martinez immediately denied all knowledge of Darling's involvement in the situation, noting that he himself had inadvertently passed a copy of the memo to Democratic Senator Tom Harkin of Iowa, believing that it was nothing more than an outline of the Republican proposal. Martinez asserted that the memo was intended to be a working draft, stating that Darling doesn't really know how I got it. The Schiavo memo is the third incident in which Martinez accepted broad responsibility while laying blame upon a staffer for the underlying deed. During the Republican primary, a staffer was blamed for a passage in a campaign flyer painting his opponent Bill McCollum as a servant of the radical homosexual lobby. Shortly thereafter another staffer was blamed for labeling federal agents involved in the Elian Gonzalez affair as armed thugs. In spite of Martinez's vocal objections to homosexual issues such as gay marriage, he employed two gay men in his 2004 Senate campaign. <laughs> <laughs> Republican National Committee In November 2006, Martinez was named general chairman of the Republican Party for the 2007-2008 election cycle Mike Duncan handled the day-to-day -day operations. Some felt the choice was made in part due to the dip in support for Republicans among Latino voters in the 2006 midterm elections. Some conservatives objected to Martinez's selection, citing his positions on immigration and their general lack of enthusiasm for his performance as senator. Martinez stepped down from this position on October 19, 2007. Topic: <inaudible> Published works. In August 2008, Martinez released an autobiography titled A Sense of Belonging: From Castro's Cuba to the US Senate: One Man's Pursuit of the American Dream. The book was written by Martinez with Ed Breslin, Crown Publishing, August 2008. ISBN 978-0-307-40540-1. The book, Immigrant Prince, is a biography about Martinez written by Richard E. Foglesong, the George and Harriet Cornell Professor of Politics at Rollins College, University Press of Florida, April 2011. ISBN 978-0813035796 Lobbying Spanish government officials on behalf of USA Three months into Barack Obama's presidential term, the administration tapped Senator Mel Martinez to deliver a private message to Spanish government officials in order to thwart a probe into former Bush administration officials for rendition and torture of Guantanamo detainees which the U.S. was failing to investigate. 
According to Carol Rosenberg, the cause for alarm at the U.S. Embassy was what a U.S. diplomat called a well-documented 12-inch tall dossier compiled by a Spanish human rights group. In the name of five Guantanamo captives with ties to Spain, it accused the Bush legal insiders of laying the foundation for abuse of detainees in the months following the September 11, 2001, attacks. The six accused are, former Attorney General Alberto Gonzalez, David Addington, former Chief of Staff and Legal Advisor to the Vice President, William Haynes, former DOD General Counsel, Douglas Faith, former Under Secretary of Defense for Policy, Jay Bybee, former Head of the DOJ Office of Legal Counsel, and John Yu, a former member of Bybee's staff. On April 15, 2009, Martinez met with acting Foreign Minister Angel Losada on a visit to the Spanish Foreign Ministry, where he warned that an investigation would have consequences, and that prosecutions would not be understood or accepted in the U.S. and would have an enormous impact on the bilateral relationship. Losada told Martinez that he understood the complications but the independence of the judiciary and the process must be respected, and that the executive branch of government could not close any judicial investigation and urge that this case not affect the overall relationship, adding that our interests were much broader, and that the universal jurisdiction case should not be viewed as a reflection of the Spanish government's position. Following the outreach, the Spanish Attorney General Candido Conde Pumpido's press chief told the media that the prosecutor's office will deliver the AG's recommendation to the national court, where it will be up to investigating Judge Baltasar Garzón to decide whether to pursue the case or not. Baltasar Garzón has been an outspoken critic of the Guantanamo Bay detention facility and has publicly stated that former President George W. Bush should be tried for war crimes. In April 2010, on the advice of the Spanish Attorney General Candido Conde Pumpido, who believes that an American tribunal should judge the case or dismiss it before a Spanish court ever thinks about becoming involved, prosecutors recommended that Judge Garzón should drop his investigation. As CNN reported, Mr. Conde Pumpido told reporters that Judge Garzón's plan threatened to turn the court into a toy in the hands of people who are trying to do a political action. Topic. Positions Abortion, rated 100% by National Right to Life Committee, which indicates a pro-life stance. Morally opposed to abortion even in case of rape or incest, he supports education to reduce abortions, and supports the promotion of alternatives such as adoption. His position on the legality of abortion is unclear, but he has indicated that he would not vote for prosecuting involved parties even in the event of a reversal of Roe v. Wade. In a debate moderated by Tim Russert, Martinez stated, The bottom line is I don't plan on prosecuting anyone. When I go to the United States Senate, I'm going to be confirming judges who will go to the courts, and the courts will deal with the issue. This is not up for a vote by the United States Senate. He added, we're far from prosecuting people in this country over that issue. Economy, supports free trade generally, supports tax cuts, advocates lowering regulation of employers and reducing liability insurance burdens. Education, supports No Child Left Behind Act, advocates more standardized testing, supports school voucher programs, supports English-only education. Immigration, in his 2004 campaign, Martinez said. Our immigration policy should first and foremost ensure the security of our great nation and those individuals posing a terrorist threat should be prevented from entering our country. I strongly oppose amnesty for illegal aliens, our immigration laws should not reward lawlessness. And. I oppose amnesty for illegal aliens. I support a plan that matches workers with needy employers without providing a path to citizenship. Immigration to this country must always be done through legal means. In a 2006 after election platform reversal, he helped craft the Comprehensive Immigration Reform Act of 2006 that would be referred to by much of his own party as amnesty. See on June 28, 2007, he would later vote for the Comprehensive Immigration Reform Act of 2007, which he helped form with other Senate leaders, that would allow many illegal immigrants to become citizens. The bill was defeated through being denied cloture on the Senate floor. 
Environment – supports funding state conservation preservation funding without raising taxes, supports opening up maximum amount of forest services federal land for hunting and shooting sports, supports voluntary incentives, legislation to make it easier for private landowners to set aside land for hunting, shooting, and conservation purposes. Foreign policy Cuba, critical of Cuba's human rights record, supports tightening travel and strengthening the economic and trade blockade against Cuba, supports U.S. government funding of persons in Cuba who are opposed to current Cuban government, opposes foreign aid to countries that oppose U.S. policies, advocates closure of Guantanamo Bay detainment camp Senator Martinez is also a member of the Congressional Cuba Democracy Caucus. Iraq, supports the Bush Doctrine, but has asserted that the U.S. erred in hastily dismantling the Iraqi army. Israel, supports Israeli self-determination, supports close ties between U.S. and Israel Health care, supports private Medicare and Social Security accounts for new workers, advocates more thorough investigations of Medicare fraud, supports reimportation of drugs from Canada. Homeland Security, opposes base closures in Florida, advocates maintaining the strongest military in the world even to the point of spending additional funds to keep Oliver Hazard Perry class frigates in service even after they have lost their air defense missile capabilities. Religion, supports free exercise of religion, opposes, removing all public displays of religious devotion, from society. Same-sex marriage and gay rights, supported an amendment to the United States Constitution to ban same-sex marriage. In June 2006, he was quoted on the matter regarding not amending the Constitution, thus leaving each state to come up with its own laws. It isn't good enough to say, leave it up to the states. If we leave it up to the states we will see the erosion of marriage that we've seen by activist courts, which we otherwise will not see if we protect the institution of marriage at the federal level. He opposed legislation that would prevent employers from firing gays, and has declined to endorse anti-hate crimes legislation. In 2006, Kansas U.S. Senator Sam Brownback blocked a confirmation vote on a George W. Bush federal appeals court nominee from Michigan, Judge Janet T. Neff, objecting to her joining the bench solely for her having attended a same-sex commitment ceremony in Massachusetts in 2002 which involved a next-door neighbor who was a close childhood friend of Neff's daughters. In July 2007, he finally lifted his block that had prevented the vote, and Brownback was joined in opposition by just three other conservatives, including Senator Martinez. Senior Citizens, led sponsor of legislation to create a nationwide silver alert program to help locate missing seniors. U.S. Supreme Court nominations, has voted in favor of all three nominees who were nominated during his Senate tenure, John Roberts 2005, Samuel Alito 2006, and Sonia Sotomayor 2009. Welfare, supports Republican-style welfare reforms encouraging personal responsibility, supports programs for job training and retraining. Public housing, supports providing housing for peoples of a needy situation, physically, mentally, as well as financially. When Secretary of the Department of Housing and Urban Development, Senator Martinez played a large part in the construction of housing and continued to do so as a junior senator. On January 25, 2008, Martinez endorsed Senator John McCain in the Florida Republican primary of the 2008 presidential election, citing McCain's understanding of national security and economic and foreign policy. McCain subsequently won the primary. Electoral history See also List of foreign-born United States Cabinet Secretaries List of Hispanic and Latino Americans in the United States Congress List of United States Senators born outside the United States Topic Footnotes Topic External Links Biography at the Biographical Directory of the United States Congress Financial Information Federal Office at the Federal Election Commission Appearances on C SPAN Republican Party General Chairman Senator Mel Martinez 
New York Times, Melchiades Rafael Martinez News Collected News and Commentary Profile at Sourcewatch Mel Martinez for U.S. Senate, campaign site